Yo, 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 what's poppin' everybody? This is your boy, Des the King, and we're back with another episode of the King Talk TV podcast. Today, I don't have a guest, uh, but I did want to come on and, I guess, dialogue about uh, some personal things that I've been dealing with, and um, and I just want to just speak about it, and hopefully whoever comes across this episode can relate to it, get something from it, or it could just help them, you know, just, just help them. Um, as you can probably see in the title, today's episode is called uh, Suicide Headaches. It's a condition that I've been dealing with for for many, 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 many years now. Excuse me. <laughs> many, many, many years now. And uh, it's simply just the worst type of headache migraine that you can get. Uh, they're actually called, they're called cluster headaches as well, but back in the, you know, early days, I want to say like maybe the 1900s or so, they were called suicide headaches because, you know, the pain was so intense that uh, people who were dealing with them did not know how to deal with it other than, you know, killing themselves. And that's a horrible thing, but, you know, it happens and it's just a good, it's a common condition that a lot of people are dealing with in the world. About 200,000 people have been diagnosed with this condition. And let me tell you, man, it is, it is the worst. I actually had to um, be hospitalized the other day because the pain was so intense. I just really just couldn't take it. And it was my first time being hospitalized for them, but still had to have it. But I'm going to talk more about that. I'm going to talk about Jesus raising up Lazarus from the dead in John chapter 11 and um, and a bunch of other stuff. Whatever comes to my heart, that's what I'm going to talk about. So if you made it to this far, uh, please give me a like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this live on IG, uh, let me know where you're from. Leave a comment in the comment section. So I can shout you out. And um, and yeah, so now we're going to start talking about it. So yeah, as I said, I've been dealing with this condition for years. They first started happening. I'm, I'm 34 now. They first started happening to me when I was in high school, actually. High school. Just one time out the blue. I'm sitting in the middle of class. And out of nowhere... Well, not actually out of nowhere. It kind of just creeps up. So when you get a migraine, it, it, you get a sign. Like you get like a signal that says something's about to happen in your head. Like you're about to get a migraine. So that's kind of what happened. I was just in class and I was started to see these dots in my vision. And I started to um, feel kind of weird, you know, just out of nowhere. And next thing you know... Little by little, pain just and pressure started intensifying in my head. Now, granted, uh, cluster headaches usually only happen on one side of your face or head. They're always on the right side. Like there's always this pain behind my eye, and there's pain on like on my temple. Sometimes it travels to my ear, and it goes here to like the the front of my uh, my forehead, and. To, to put it plainly, guys, it is the worst pain that I think a human can experience. I know there's childbirth, there's other things that, you know, human beings go through as far as pain. But man, for something to be labeled suicide, headaches that can drive a person to the point to make them want to kill themselves, I don't think that there is much pain that is worse than that, you know. Um, but anyway... They there was there was a point in my life that I was getting these every single day. It was hell every single day. Um, I would wake up dreading to wake up because I know today was probably gonna be a day that I get a headache. And I went to the hospital, not not to the hospital. Uh, I'm gonna get to that, I guess. But I went to the doctor so many times in regards to these things and you know they, they gave me all types of medicine ibuprofen etc and, and some prescription medicine that I, I can't remember right now 
but it temporarily it it will work but it it wasn't like it was a cure or anything it just kind of helped manage it and even then i'll still get them you know and if i don't take the medicine at the right time or if i wait too late even if i take it the migraine still gets full blown and and it's too late and it's too late and um and yeah so i've been dealing with this for years and up until a few days ago uh well actually about up until like a week ago i've i've been getting them again now granted god has blessed me with a period of uh peace i didn't get any last year 2021 any last year 2021 um i um and i'm thankful for god for that uh, my boy Mike said that haircut brother is razor sharp. I appreciate you, man. I just tried to do, you know, I'll be trying to do something different, man. We got to live, bro, and just and just do different things, man. But I thank you, bro. I like it, too. I think it looks really cool, too, man. God bless you, bro. <laughs> but, um, but um, man, I lost my train of thought. So, yeah, I up until a few days ago and all of 2021, I didn't get any migraines at all. And I was so I'm thankful for God for that. Uh, but up until like a week or so ago, they started to come back. They started to come back on me. And um, and well, when was this? Like three days ago, I wake up about three o'clock in the morning with the migraine. It was like full blown migraine. It was it was sleep and then boom, migraine. Three o'clock in the morning. Imagine that. And uh, I'm like, okay, you know, it is what it is. And I'm dealing with it. I'm I'm twisting and turning. Like, you know, it's it's pain. It's hard to describe how painful these things are. If you look, if you research the symptoms, you see people who, when you're under attack, you, you kind of don't stop moving. You're fidgeting back and forth. You're shaking. You're going through, you're literally going through hell. Um, so that night, the other night, I was um, in pain. I was dizzy. I was nausea. I was nauseous. I was throwing up. I um, up until the point I went to the hospital, I had a fever. I had cold sweats. I was shaking. Man, I thought I literally thought I was going to die. Not not to the point that I wanted to kill myself, but I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I thought my head was going to explode. It was just the worst thing ever. The worst thing ever. And um, on a side note. I prayed to God. I prayed to God that before that happened and during this, when it happened, that God would stop this, that God will release the pain, that God would do something. Because if you believe in the God that I believe in, you know that he's more than capable of, of healing us and delivering us from, from pain or whatever we're dealing with. He's more than capable of doing that. So I was asking God the whole time, Lord, please, please, Lord God, re re relieve me. Give me some. If you're not going to take the pain away altogether, relieve me from something. Give me some type of relief from this misery, this agony that I'm dealing with. Why are you allowing this to happen right now? I know I'm not the perfect man. I know I have sinned before in the past. I know I've done things that were not good in your eyes, God, but please, Lord, have mercy on me. You healed, you healed so many people who are sinners like me inst instantly, you know? So why can't, why aren't you not doing this for me? So all these types of, on top of the pain, on top of all that, all these things are going through my head as to why God is doing this to me. So um, I'm, I'm dealing with all that pain and I'm throwing up. And I'm like, man, I might have to go to the hospital right now. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to die. I'm, I'm going to have to, I have to go to the hospital right now. Um, so in this, at this point, it's like four, almost five in the morning. And it's freaking cold outside. I, I live in Colorado. And if you, you, you know, it's cold. It's cold right now in the wintertime. It's probably 20 degrees, wind blowing outside. And I somehow managed to get up and put my clothes on and and I go into the other room where my brother was. He have he just happened to be awake and I was like, bro, 
I need you to take him to the hospital. And he was like, all right, you know, no problem, man. God bless him. Um, God bless him for that. But uh, he got me to the hospital. I'm, I can barely walk. I can't see. The light is sensitive. I got my shades on in the hospital because the light was so sensitive. But uh, um, long story short, I get back in the room. They give me an IV and uh, that... I don't know what they gave me actually, but they put me on the IV and eventually I fell asleep in the hospital bed. I woke up, I was pretty much good to go. I still had slight, you know, pain in my head, but I, it was way manageable up until that point. And, um, and yeah, that was, that was Saturday actually. Um, I, I get home and I'm exhausted, I'm hungry tired and I'm just just out of it man and and this is after the migraine I'm no longer in like that crazy pain but um I get home and I'm I'm tired I'm out of it I can barely even get my stuff together from dealing with that all night long and I just started to think like god why did you allow me to go through all that that was just man I mean I get maybe a little pain a little migraine I get it cuz you know God, God can use pain to get your attention. And I'm not, I'm not naive to that. And I understand that because some people feel like we don't need God till something goes wrong. And, or if, or if God is trying to call us to do something, we, we ignore him because we're distracted. So he, he can allow certain things to happen to get our attention, to get us, you know, back to talking to him. And, and, Prior, prior to that headache that led me to go into the hospital, I was getting headaches before that. But um, I, I, I took heed of that notion. Like, I was feeling this pain. And I was like, okay, this is more than likely God saying, I need to pray more. I need to, I need to, you know, cut some things out. I need, to, I, need to, I need to pray more and spend more time with God. That's how I was taking why I was getting these migraines again. But for it to get to the point that I had to go to the hospital, I was like, yo, man, like, it didn't, why did it have to get to this point? I, I get, I got what you're trying to say, God. I, you need me to spend more time with you. You need me to pray more. You need me to read the Bible more. You need me to, you know, do other things other than what I'm doing more often than what I'm doing. And you're using these migraines to guide me toward that. There's no reason for you to have to make it to the point that I need to go to the hospital and have to pay a hospital bill now, you know, when I'm already got other financial obligations, I don't need a hospital bill on top of it all now, but, um, but Hey, it happened. And, but all, after all that, I'm thinking all these things in my head, like, man, why did all this happen, man? Um, so last night, last night, I just, while I'm studying on my computer, I randomly just came across John chapter 11 when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. If you read that story carefully, um, Lazarus, Jesus found out that Lazarus was, was sick before he died. Now, granted, this is Jesus. Jesus has been healing people this whole time while they're sick and while they're on earth. Um, when he heard that Lazarus was sick, Jesus could have easily just said, you know, Lazarus be healed. And that could have been it. But after Jesus heard Lazarus was sick, uh, he didn't do anything to my knowledge as far as anything, him being healed. He allowed God essentially allowed Lazarus to be sick and die. Um, but he didn't have to do that. He could have he could have healed Lazarus. Lazarus didn't have to die at all. Um, but if you know the story, Lazarus dies. Uh, Jesus goes to his tomb and calls him back to life, essentially. Calls him back to life. And and yes, and I think it says somewhere in there that Jesus um that he said that he uses these situations so that the son may be glorified in the father or something like that. So my, my point is God can, uh, God can allow things to happen, man, 
for for a greater purpose than than what we make and understand in that moment. You know, I don't know what Lazarus was dealing with prior to him dying, but I'm sure it was pretty bad. I mean, cluster headaches are bad. Don't get me wrong. They're really, really bad. But most people don't die simply from the headache in and of itself. Whatever Lazarus was dealing with caused him to die. So I would say that the pain that he was dealing with is probably worse than the pain that I'm that I'm dealing with. And God allowed him to, to suffer those days and die. But it was all for a demonstration so that Jesus could demonstrate that he is who he is, that he has that power to do what he did. And and he did. That it was it was all for a purpose. Um, maybe it was for a purpose. Maybe it was for me to look at that and read that and to understand that, to, 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 to make a video to talk about that, to reach some of you for what you're dealing with as far as, you know, pain and or whatever you're dealing with. So yeah, God will allow you to go through some things, man, to, to, to demonstrate something to yourself or to demonstrate something to others. But my thing is, you know, we have to know that everything happens for a reason, even if we don't understand it. And that's easy to say when you're not in pain and when everything is going well. It's easy to say that when you're in the middle of pain and you're in the middle of hell. <coughs> excuse me. When you are in the middle of hell, it's hard to do that. It's hard to understand that. And. But once you're out of hell, man, once you're feeling well and you can reflect back on it, it's easy to it's easy, at least for me to, to go back and look at it like, yeah, so I, I understand. I understand. It still sucks. It sucks freaking bad. It's like, man, man, it's it really, really sucks. It really, really sucks to go through so much pain like that and have to go to the hospital for anything. If you have to go to the emergency room, you know, it's not good at all to have to go to the emergency room for anything, anything. But, you know, just dealing with pain in general and dealing with excruciating pain at that and you asking God to deliver you from it and it's almost like he's not hearing you or he's annoying you. And he's not annoying you. He just, you know, he has a purpose for it, you know. So it's difficult to deal with. It's sometimes difficult to understand. But sometimes, sometimes I get it. Sometimes I get it. And... I'm just thankful that he eventually brought me through. So I went to church today and I told my friend that I always pray with there that what I was going through. And he told me that he has a son that's going through the same thing. Um, now, granted, I'm 34. This boy is like maybe eight or nine years old and he's going through the same thing that I'm going through. Now, this is a innocent little boy. You know what I mean? I'm a grown man, whatever. He's a little kid going through the same things that I'm going through. And, and yeah, and I thought about that as well. Like, man, this little kid is going through the same thing. He didn't even, he hasn't even been out on his own to do anything. He hasn't bought any food on his own or nothing, but here he is going through the same type of pain. I just feel so bad that he was going through, but it made me put things in perspective. Like, you know, you're not the only one going through what you're going through. You're not the only one that is dealing with what they're dealing with. There are other people out there who are dealing with the exact same thing or people out there are dealing with worse things that you are dealing with. And that may comfort some of you that may not. But at least for me, it made me think like, you know, I'm not in this by myself. Um, and that that little boy is strong. That little boy is still, once he gets better, he's back doing little boy stuff. You know what I mean? He's not letting it get to him. But I let it get, I, me, I let it get to me. I get all emotional and start questioning things about it. And I'm not saying he doesn't get to, he doesn't experience that sometimes as well. But, you know, from what I hear, he he's back to normal after it's done. And that's how we should be, man. We should be like that. You know, we should. Go through what we go through, man, but just be happy that we have what we have and have hope for things to get better. Do we're, we're doing the things to get better 
And we have to have hope and faith that things are going to get better, that we're not always going to deal with what we're dealing with. Like pain, pain is temporary. Pain is temporary. And it lasts for a while, but we can learn from pain. You know, we can grow from pain. And and we shouldn't just, you know, always just, just shun pain or, or even run from it because it can be good. And if God is using it for his purpose, then it is good. It is good. Everything works for God's greater glory. Pain, pleasure, whatever, it all works for God's greater glory. So, so yes, if you're experiencing some issues or pain or whatever you're dealing with, just be mindful that if you are a believer in the same God I believe in, he will bring you through. Um, you could be a, a walking testimony for someone to help someone else, which is what I believe why I'm going through what I'm going through. I wouldn't have been, who knows, man, if I wouldn't have got these migraines, I probably wouldn't be here making this video. I uh, probably wouldn't even went to church today. I would have just did something else, you know, but it's, it's these little the trials and tribulations that show you who you really are. It shows you who you really are. And, and, and I'm just thankful, you know, that after dealing with all this, that I made the decision to go to church, to pray more. And, and not just when I'm in pain, not just when I'm in pain, but when things are going perfectly well, you know, when things are going wonderful, we should always, be consulting God and asking God for his help and guidance in the things that we're doing, not only when things are going bad, but when things are going good or in between. You should always seek the face of God in the midst of all these things, you know? And um, I know one thing that that's one thing I would do or used to do, maybe not as much now, but I always come to God when I need something. When something is bad, that's what I'm praying. When when something is good, yeah, I may pray, but not like really, really pray, pray, you know. So, man, we need to pray all the time. Good, bad, ugly, terrible, wonderful, beautiful, all that, man. Just Just pray and consult God, you know. So that's just, that's, that's the lesson that going through these migraines taught me, you know, uh, cause there's going to be a period when I'm not going to get it. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, um, the, my man who prayed for me today said, he said in Jesus name that I, that I don't get these anymore. He said that well, you're not going to get these anymore. He told me that. And, you know, and I thought about that and I was like, man, that'd be, that'd be absolutely awesome. I cried after he said that. I was like, man, that would be absolutely awesome not to experience any type of pain like that ever again. But then I thought like, you know, what if I do? Then what? Am I going to run away from God? Am I going to just give up on God after that? Someone uh, left me a comment right now. It's in Spanish and I can't read it. I'm sorry, man. I need, I need to learn some Spanish so I can understand what you're saying. But if you can type that in English, that'd be great. <laughs> But thank you for your comment. Gracias. Um, yeah, man. Um, man, I lost my train of thought again. But but God is good either way, man. Going through pain, going through good, going through bad. God is, the one constant is that God is good, no matter what you're going through. So understanding that, understanding that, you know, everything happens for a reason. Those who are in Christ. It gives you a different type of peace that the world is not going to understand. And that's what's great about it. That's what's great about believing in the God that I believe in. In Jesus Christ. So yeah, um, if you're dealing with something, then don't, don't. Um, it's okay to get upset. It's okay to get mad or be confused or even the question. But, um, just know that God is good and he's going to bring you through to something better than you wouldn't imagine. You know, it's like having a, it's, it's like a woman having a baby, man. When a woman's going through that much pain, having a baby, 
when the baby is finally born, she doesn't even think about the pain. You know, she's just she's just so happy that she has a brand new baby. You know what I mean? Um, and you know, and she goes through essentially hell throughout the pregnancy. You know what I mean? And but when the baby is born, you know, it's like she doesn't remember that. She's she's just thinking about a baby. Next thing you know, she's having another baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? Going through that again. And next thing you know, she's having another baby. You know what I mean? So um pain is just part of the process sometimes to make us better individuals. And I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for the experience. I'm thankful for the experience of life. Whatever it comes with. Just to be alive and to experience. Be capable of experiencing the things that life offers. Life offers all types of crap. But all types of goodness as well. So just experience all of it together. Is what's wonderful about life. And when you experience all that together in God, in Christ Jesus, man, you have life more abundantly after that. So it's a beautiful thing. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to put out today. Hopefully next time I have this podcast, I have a guest. But, um, but today was just my little story I wanted to share with a few of you out there who listen. And, um, and yeah, that's it. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you made it this far, uh, give me a like and comment below your comments on anything that I said or anything that you're going through that you would like to share to the world. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, we'll go from there. And um, subscribe to my, my, uh, my channel. I just said that, but subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I'll leave those links below. Below, If you want to donate to your boy, I got some donation links below as well. I appreciate it. anything that you can give. That's wonderful. But, um, but God bless you all, man. And I hope this was fruitful. I hope you got something out of this. And um, I, I thank God for you all. And pain is not the end, man. Pain is not the end. Remember that. And God has a plan for you. So God bless you all. Have a good day. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Peace.